New report shows anti-Semitic propaganda increased by 27% in 2021. So in this new story, I have to be a little bit careful about the words I'm using because of the YouTube algorithm. So instead of saying um, a, uh, a, a person of my ethnicity supremacist, okay, I'm going to say low melanated supremacist. And we're, we're talking about the color that is the opposite of black. Just, just that show make your sense hand. to everyone? Just, just show your hand at the screen. <laughs> okay. So yeah. according to an annual report by the Anti-Defamation League, or ADL, uh, low melanated supremacist propaganda, propaganda, quote, remained at a historic level in 2021. The report also revealed a dramatic increase in anti-Semitic activities in 2021. The ADL's Center on Extremism tracked 4,851 cases of low melanated supremacist propaganda in 2021. In 2020, a total of 5,125 incidents were documented. The ADL Center on Extremism reported that low melanated supremacist propaganda that uses, quote, anti-Semitic filters, stickers, banners, and posters, as well as the use of stenciled graffiti. The ADL reported that at least 38 low melanated supremacists groups operate in different states. The main, the three main perpetrators are Patriot Front, New Jersey European Heritage Association, and the Folkish, Folkish Resistance Movement. 91% of the low melanated supremacist incidents documented in 2021 were performed by these groups. In terms of anti-Semitic propaganda, there has been a 27% increase from 2020 to 2021. What? Wait, is this is this just the U.S. or the world? This yes, this is the U.S. And is is it just because of the Q people? Again, I'm not going to say their their name as well. No. So a lot of this increase, I believe, has to do specifically in terms of anti-Semitic, because this report also covered um, because low melanated supremacist propaganda isn't it like it is centrally in conceptually the center of it is anti-Semitism, but it also is a lot, there was a lot of bigotry and propaganda against black Americans in particular, but also just um, minority groups at large. Um, and so a lot of the specific anti-Semitic propaganda had to do with the big disease that's been going around the world for spreading around the world for the past two years, basically saying that every aspect of this disease has been going around for the past two years. Uh, the the uh, the the beer bug, okay, um, is every aspect of it is Jewish, and they point what? to the leaders of all of these different organizations involved in. Um, oh no, like Pfizer, uh, medical companies, the CDC, the NHS, um, and pointing to all these very high ranking. Um, administrators within these, you know, organizations that have just, to do with they, public health and pointing out, you know, naming all the ones that are Jewish. And they, so they the, have, um, the Jew Jewish people have just become the history's punch bag for everything that goes wrong. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But, okay. yes. Amazing. Yeah. It's really unfortunate, but I wanted to highlight this news because I don't think that in America, um anti-semitism gets as much attention as it should mm. um i think it is downplayed partially because jews are oftentimes just seen as white and so i think right. hatred against by the way youtube youtube we're, against, youtube we're speaking against the hatred for jewish people like we're defending a minority group yes. right now please don't strike us down we're talking about other people we're talking about other mm -hmm. people's uh, bad behavior towards the Jewish community, okay? But so yeah, guys, we have yeah. To, it's uh, my opinion it's really... that on the left, which is supposed to be the you know politically oriented towards the protection of minorities, downplays the hatred of the Jewish people in America because they are largely seen as white, even though 
there's a vast diversity of Jewish experience and Jewish, Jewish ethnicity that is definitely not white. Um, and that it doesn't get the attention it deserves because it's, um, yeah, like we, we don't talk about hatred towards supposedly white people. Um, it, <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's that's my hot take for the day. Eighth, no, I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. Atheism too. Like Susanna just said, white. Okay, guys, the problem. No, but you gotta having... say like this. You said white. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, atheism too. We just don't want to put the word white next to that, uh, the other word. We don't want to put them next to each other. That's the, what we're trying to avoid. We <laughs> like, we're, not, we're not banning the word white. Oh my god, this, guys, it's crazy how we have to dance around YouTube's algorithm. So. Thank you for being patient. Especially since we just got our monetization back yesterday. We're traumatized. We're traumatized because we don't even know what's like. They don't tell us what's right or what's wrong. So we're just trying to like guess it based on research that other people have done. So it's so it's so stupid. Yeah. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, Anyways. but I think I I I wanted to talk about this news because I think it's important to draw attention towards anti-Semitism and its um, popularization or increase because these are the warning signs in our society. Like we need to learn from history and say like any amount of this propagate uh, propagation is um, unacceptable. You know we can't have oh you know you know that's not okay it's not okay but you know like it's not that bad here you know we can we, you know like calm down you know i mean it's it's not good it's bad but it's not that big of a deal like i i don't know i personally very much feel that it's a huge deal yes this is a yeah. lot of i was they are the I most wish I could show you guys the i was looking at the adl website where they document they do a very good do job documenting actually what these incidents look like and the stuff that is in this propaganda is wild like so disgusting and vicious yeah we can't I, we, we can't even talk it, we, i can't even we describe can't it to you we will get nu nuked out of this platform if we just want to tell you how bad it is yeah Music guy saying we have PTSD by YouTube algorithm. This is, by the way, this is such a bad YouTube strategy because you can't even fight the bad ideas because YouTube can't tell the difference between people who are spreading the bad ideas and people who are fighting the bad ideas because to the algorithm it just sounds the same. So, yeah, like when they banned people. everything, like saying gay because they thought people were talking like homophobic stuff, but then it just punished mm -hmm. like gay creators trying to raise <laughs> yeah, like, awareness and inclusion for like teens who yeah. need help. but at least like, at least nice. at least uh, at least the lgbt community is big enough to be like what the hell you two what are you doing and they had to go and fix that we who are like you know criticizing islam or religion we don't have that pick of a voice to be like youtube you're actually defending the oppressors we, like so the, the the bias that it exists in, in the algorithm against us stays so you know how the lgbt community they managed to raise enough outrage for youtube having to address that we don't have that power yet one day keep donating so we have that power yet uh link to our picture <laughs> in the description yeah yeah all right um, yeah, but because actually, actually saying... no no wait 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 because it was because of your donations that we were able to afford lawyers to you know to do undo a lot of the damage that has been done to us so it does matter so i mean if you can't afford yes it, it is but, yeah, only possible through the contribution of our audience it's incredible it's really incredible yeah. and yeah we're so grateful um wait really quickly secular rarity is saying youtube just punishes you for something but doesn't tell you what you did and tell you how to fix it after you try they still keep punishing you then randomly stop punishing you that's abusive behavior <laughs> so if armin and i are a little crazy this is why <laughs> it's like you know yeah how, we don't even know like, why it stopped we don't we just know that we were pressuring them because okay so we were pressuring them on twitter and on twitter they tell us that nope uh, we checked and the you're not gonna get demonetized and we were like damn and then they removed the demonet and then we we're monetized they're like okay thank you but you just told us that no so it's so weird <laughs> Like right after they told us, like you're not getting, you're not getting. After they officially said you're not getting your monetization back, they're like, oh yeah, like two weeks ago on Twitter. That's what we talked about like two weeks ago. That they were like, 
no you're not applicable for the youtube partnership we're like what way <laughs> but then we check in it's like no you're still you know reviewing i'm like what, what's happening <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're still reviewing after telling you that you're not and then yeah it's weird hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.